Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Easter. Uh, I know Easter's tomorrow, but I figure I can throw that out there. Um, welcome to Stock Android Tech. Today I'm going to be doing a video about an application called More Shortcuts. Now this application will come in handy if you are the kind of people that like to add shortcuts to your desktop so you can go to an application or go to a certain um, application of your choosing in a blink of an eye. Um, it's 100,000 downloads at a 4.4 rating and the last time it's been updated is on February 1st 2017 now this application is free but if you want to add extensions to it it's gonna be roughly $1.99 and some change so I'm not gonna go in and try to purchase that section basically um, I want to try the features that are free and that are already pre uh, preloaded into the application so once you go ahead and you download the application um, go ahead and open up the application itself and then you're gonna come directly into um, the shortcuts here now you have everything from activity content uh, flash screen on and off bookmark ringer um, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi hotspots Bluetooth notification panel so on and so on and um, now what I went ahead and did basically is I added uh, three shortcuts already when uh, using the application now again this application is called more shortcuts so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and I added um, a shortcut uh, to a music player and of a song of my choice so every time I want to hear that specific song I can go ahead and just tap on the shortcut and as you can see here So it gives you an idea basically when using the shortcut. You can um, pretty much use it as an action and instantly get to where you need to go. Uh, even right here where it says recent apps, this is another shortcut that I've created onto my desktop. And if I were to uh, press on that, basically it shows up uh, basically what applications I have running in the background that I've opened previously. So um, this application does come in handy. Now here is you can make a shortcut basically where it says um, activity select an activity to launch now I went ahead and I chose a calculator as you can see right here and as soon as I click on a shortcut it takes you right into the calculator so what I'm gonna do is go further into more shortcuts to give you an idea how to get these shortcuts to your desktop and what you need to do to create an action um, shortcut to your desktop so the first thing I'm gonna go over is activity so in order to add an activity uh, whatever app you decide to open with with uh, with one touch is you go into activity here and they're going to give you a list of uh, you know applications that's already installed into your device so you can choose whatever you want whatever's on your device you can go ahead and use that to your advantage so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to choose let's say let me see tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and just choose Google Plus now as soon as you make a choice of what shortcut you want to be created onto your desktop you have options you can have Google Plus where it's instant upload notification settings home activity event activity um, gateway activity I mean it just goes on so they give you a lot of choices when it comes to how and what actions you want to be working when launching the shortcut so what I'm gonna do is go to Google Plus notification settings and then I'm gonna hit OK and now when you hit OK you have the option to basically change the name of the shortcut if you don't like what is given to you so you have that option so now I'm gonna go back to the desktop and right here where it says Google Plus um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Google Plus uh, shortcut and it's gonna take you directly into the um, Google notifications uh, apparently it is not responding maybe I did something wrong so let me go ahead and just remove that now if you guys are done with these shortcuts and you don't want them on your desktop anymore all you got to do is pretty much hold long press on the shortcut and just go and move remove it off your desktop so you don't have to worry about uninstalling it as far as like a daily app you would normally do from the Play Store so I'm gonna go down here I'm, I'm sorry activity uh, calculator is already uh, what I've shown you basically 
just pick an application of your choosing. I picked calculator, and after you get done hitting calculator, just go ahead and just hit OK. And then it makes a shortcut right here on the desktop, as you can see here, loads up the calculator. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I want to show you something else. When you're creating a shortcut and you want to pick an activity, so let's say for example I want to do calculator. Now when you open up calculator, they're going to give you Q slide calculator or calculator. The first one I showed you was basically a, 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 an average calculator but I'm gonna go ahead and choose Q slide calculator and right here you can go ahead and enter Q slide if you want to that way you know exactly what you're gonna open before actually pressing on it hit OK and it's gonna be added to the desktop go ahead and press on it and then it loads up your calculator Q slide calculator so I think it's a really great app especially when you want to go ahead and just get to an app that you, you know have to look through it through your app drawer or whatnot it's right there on your screen click on it done now this will come in handy for a lot of people out there that are not running Android Nougat 7.0 uh, until you can get the 7.0 Nougat update on to your devices I think this is a really good alternative until you get the update so overall guys um, I want to show you one last thing on here now they have a, a, an option here for advanced now you can use this as long as you guys are developers now if you click on advanced you have actions category data and then type once you go ahead and <clears throat> decide what you want to throw in there with the information go ahead and hit ok and it says do you want to create this shortcut into your home hit ok but give it a name that way you know exactly what you're going to put on your desktop now if you go to pop up widget it's going to take you right into the uh, Google Play Store. Now, if you want to go ahead and use this to add floating widgets onto your desktop, um, you can go ahead and purchase this, actually. And um, let me go back here. I don't know why I didn't load. Go back down to Advance. Oh, sorry, not Advance. Pop-up widget. It's going to open up Google Play Store. And right here, Pop-up widget 3, you can uh, purchase it for $1.49. It's got a 4.7 rating at 10,000 downloads. So you can actually add floating widgets onto the um, desktop that you can use for the shortcuts. So I think that might be something to consider looking into. I'm not going to purchase it because honestly I don't need it I mean I'm fine just with the shortcuts in all actuality and it's useful so why not but um, if you want to check this app out I'm gonna go ahead and leave it the bottom description you can go check it out and if you like this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe guys thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video peace